IA16 Property Plant and Equipment Initial Measurement Elements of Cost This is a summary of the total content of IA16. Accounting treatment comprises recognition, measurement and disclosure. This presentation focuses on measurement and specifically initial measurement. The first step in the accounting process is to identify an economic event. The second step in the accounting process is to record that event. That event. Recording that event involves recognition and measurement decisions. The first decision is to decide when an item may be recognized. Every time costs are incurred, initially and subsequently, those costs need to be evaluated against the recognition criteria before the decision can be made. Once this decision has been made and we can conclude that an item may be recognized as property, plant and equipment, we need to ask how do we recognize. We can now write a journal entry, but before we can do that, we need an amount and that is referred to as measurement. Measurement also involves initial measurement and subsequent measurement. This presentation still focuses on initial measurement. Paragraph 15 from I-16, heading measurement at recognition. That refers to initial measurement. An item of property, plant and equipment that qualifies for recognition, so you've answered the question, you may recognize this as PPE, shall be measured at its cost. All PPE items are initially measured at its cost. But what is now included in this cost? Paragraph 16 gives us the elements of cost. First of all, you have the cost of an item of property, plant and equipment comprises purchase price, including import duties and non-refundable purchase taxes, your VAT, after deducting, deducting trade discounts and rebates. Paragraph 16b. This is the main principle when deciding whether the cost should be included or not. Paragraph 16b. Any cost directly attributable to bringing the asset to the location and condition necessary for it to be capable of operating in the manner intended by management. Those costs is included in the cost price of the item. What is directly attributable costs? I-16 gives us the necessary guidance. It refers us to paragraph 17. Paragraph 16c discusses the costs incurred relating to dismantling and removing of the item and that will form the topic of a future discussion. So let's have a look at paragraph 17 because paragraph 17 now gives us examples of this directly attributable costs. Example A, cost of employee benefits. Which ones? Everybody's. Everybody's salary. Will that be formed part of your PPE's cost? No, only the cost of employee benefits that arises directly from the construction or acquisition of the item of PPE. Cost of site preparation. If you have an empty piece of field that you want to prepare for purposes of building a hotel on that, and you first have to prepare that site, clean it, make it level, chop down all the trees, etc. The cost involved in preparing that site is part of the cost price of the building that you're going to build. Initial delivery and handling costs. Transporting something from the harbor. If you need to get it to your premises before it can work, that cost will be part of the cost of the PPE item. Installation. What if the asset needs to be installed before you can use it? 
that installation costs is important and needs to be capitalized to the cost price of the PPE item. Cost of testing whether the asset is functioning properly. After deducting the net proceeds from selling any items produced while bringing the asset to that location and condition. If you still have to test your PPE item before you can conclude it is now in the condition necessary for its intended use. That testing costs forms part of the cost price. Now all paragraph 17e says is while you were testing this machine or this asset, while you were testing it, did you produce any products? If you did and you're going to sell those products and you're going to get proceeds from selling it, the amount that you include in the cost price of the PPE would be the proceeds from selling these test items minus the cost of testing. That net proceeds, net proceeds will be included in the cost price of the PPE. Professional fees will be lawyer fees or any professional person that was involved in getting this asset in its condition necessary for its intended use. Paragraph 19 now gives us examples of costs that are not included in the cost of the PPE item and they include cost of opening a new facility, Cost of introducing a new product or service. Cost of conducting business in a new location. Admin. General overhead costs. These costs were not necessary to get that PPE item in the position ready for its intended use, in the condition and location. Therefore, it will not be capitalized to the asset. So in summary, we have initial measurement on all PPE items is at cost. Day one, cost price. The standard gave us very good guidance on what is the elements of cost in paragraph 15, 16, 17 and 19. Let's look at an example. Example one. You purchased a motor vehicle for cash for 114,000 Rand and that includes VAT at 14%. What would the cost of the asset be, the initial measurement, under these two scenarios? Scenario 1, you're not a VAT vendor, and scenario 2, you are, uh, scenario, scenario one, you are a VAT vendor, and scenario 2, you are not a VAT vendor. Scenario 1, input may be claimed. The motor vehicle at cost would be at 100,000 Rand, which is the 114,000 times 100 out of 114. Then you have your bank entry at 114 and you have a VAT control account debit for the 14. Depreciation on this asset will be calculated as 20% on cost and it will be the 100,000. Scenario 2, if you are not a VAT vendor and input may not be claimed, the cost price of this asset will be the full 114,000 and the 20% depreciation will be based on the full 114. Example 2. This entity incurred a number of costs on an imported machine. The purchase price was 2.4. Custom and import duties was 200,000. Railage was 25,000 to transport the machine from Durban to Pretoria. There was calibration devices designed specifically for use with this machine were installed to ensure it worked correctly under local conditions. They cost the 30,000 Rand. The machine was installed at a cost of 100. An advertising brochure was posted to all customers informing them of the new machine at a cost of 5. What do you have to decide? Which of these costs were necessary to get this machine in the location and condition necessary for its intended use? That would be all the costs incurred except for the advertising brochure. The entity advertising this machine has got nothing to do with getting this asset ready for its intended use. So calculating the cost price would include all the costs except the advertising expense.